back. Happy Sunday. Hopefully you guys are having a good day. Getting that going. Man, we need to get a little hardware out there. A lot of people live in the chat early. Seeing some people in there. Shout out to Big Red. Grateful Panic. Man, we're still getting a little of that. Look at that. Got a little bit of that right there. Of course it is, isn't it? All right. We got to do a little minor repair here. I got sunshine coming through. <laughs> it's high noon, Tom. What up, Adam B? KJ's in the house. Grateful Panic. Big Red EDC. Mark Bellwood. Eggs and Ham. CK. KJ Pearson. All members of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. Thank you guys for being here, along with Penny. Thank you guys. Had an awesome time yesterday. Got to spend some time hanging out, chatting with, with Penny. What's up, Dane? Welcome, Dane. Another member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. We got Chad in the house. Monster Racing 38. What's up, Slick? Michael Morgan. Paul, there's a link right there. If you want to join Zach's Daily Carry Crew, if you want to get custom emojis, if you want to help support the channel, uh, month to month, whatever you're comfortable with there, just a nominal, nominal donation to the channel. It's always much appreciated. Helps do some stuff like purchase giveaway items for today. Ooh, I forgot to write a couple things on my list here. We got a couple little special things. What's up, Nice Fast? Jumping in while he's at work. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate that. Looks like you're having a fun day so far at the work, at the office there. Thanks for sharing the photo. That was pretty cool, man. Oh, my gosh. <coughs> Excuse me. What's up, Z-Man ZDC? Yeah, I just got to write a quick note here. I was uh, doing some collective thought process before the stream here, and I got sidetracked. Hey, what's up, Drew? Hey, man, I hope you're doing good. Yeah, definitely. Send me an email for sure. I, I literally pulled all that the stuff we were chatting about. I pulled that out, and I've just been chilling. It's just been sitting on the table. I was thinking about you earlier today when I saw it. Back to the second half. Back to you, Johnny. Um, yeah, so I was doing that, uh, collective thought process before the stream here. What's up, Richard Hendershot? Another member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew, along with Chris Wolf. Thank you guys for being here. Zenny's here as well. Thank you, Zenny, for being here. Mateo, Zenny. Happy Sunday indeed, Russ. What's up, Lisa? Yeah, it was a good one, Lisa. It was a good one to catch. And I just want to say, huge, huge awesomeness and love to Big Red. Uh, he posted earlier, but if Big Red, if you want to post your, your awesome news in the chat again, that would be amazing. I'm glad, I'm glad. Dane's here. Napster Ninja. Okay. But it was funny because I was doing that collective thought process and got sidetracked because there were so many people in the live chat already. I was like, dang. So I jumped in there, started chatting with you guys. It was fun. So anyways, that's what's going on. Monster 38's here. Monster Racing 38. There they are. Both COVID negative and leave for Maui in the morning. Congratulations, Big Red. That is awesome, my friend. Well, well-deserved trip. Yeah, if you don't get a chance to check it out live, definitely go back and watch it. You know, you miss out on the live fun fun stuff that we have going on. Um, you know, we have uh, all sorts of fun like Burton and um, I still got to get that limeade recipe from you. What's up, Randy? The Wallaby, Form D Productions. What's going on? Yeah, get a pina colada, a little Mai Tai. 
Oh, Big Red. Let's give a little shout out to Big Red, man. Thank you so much. CK's in the house as well. Another member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. Thank you, Big Red. You're too kind. Very, very, very much appreciated. The Super Chat donations help. Um, let's see here. What was my other one I was going to put on there? I had one more thing to add to my list. I'll think about it in a minute. But anyways, we got over 50 people. So, whew. I'm carrying two knives today, and I'll share those with you in a minute. But what are you guys carrying on this Sunday for your EDC? Northwoods Knife Guys in the house, another member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. Thank you so much. Klaus, what's up? Burp, 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 burp. Thank you, thank you for handling that. So weird what it flags. Okay, got a sip of water. I already had my tea this morning. Thank you to Penny. Penny and her bow. Uh, Richard Hendershot is carrying the 940 OG. And I will in, I'm gonna get back to Richard in a second here. That's he's on my list. We're gonna have to have a little chat about Richard here. Uh, Dane is carrying the waypoint. Randy's got the M4 bug out. The Lone Rangers in the house carrying the Delica. Penny Ripple's carrying the SOCP. Oh, North, Northwoods Knife Guy's got the Protec TR3, a great one. Mike Williams got the Drop Ferrum Forge BUC. Jake Rozier's carrying the 535-3. This is the way. Donkey Dave, what's happening? Chad's carrying the Best Tech Exploit. Orange Hat's got the 945. Mark Grant's in the house. What's up, Mark? Another member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. Carrying the shoot row and the TRM Adam. Paul Windmiller's in the house. Another member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. What up, what up? Carrying the Spartan Harzy Plague. Dr. Damascus. Chris, another member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. Carrying the Ace Grand and the Hinderer XM24. Danielle Sermus is carrying the Bug Out. Excellent. Uncle Cow's got the Spider Co. Clip It Tool. Top Dog. Carrying the bug out. Wonderful, wonderful. Triple E EDC not doing his father's not doing good. Oh man. Prayers to Triple E EDC, my friend. Prayers to your father. That's no no fun at all. Lime juice and booze. That's what Tom said. Alright. <laughs> That's his limeade. That's his cherry limeade recipe. <laughs> Form D Productions carrying the triple five one from Benchmade. Joseph is carrying the CJRB Rampart and Copper. KJ Pearson, another member of Zach's Daily Carry crew, is carrying the Tuya Costaba in N690. Slick's got the TPK Special Brass Elementum Custom, Custom Patina from TPK. Michael Morgan, carrying the QSP Penguin in the new S4 Kloss Slip Joint. Nav Sergeant's carrying the Hinder Eclipse Bowie and Mass Drop Perpetua. For cut testing, Grateful Panic, member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew, carrying the Slayback and the Large Centauri. Oh, Zenny is rolling with Big Red's favorite Elementum. Kloss is carrying the Shot Show Fact. It's an amazing knife right there. Just kicking back, Tim is carrying the Ruger LCK. It's a beautiful knife. Andrew's got the Copper 535 Elementum. Oh, the S35 Elementum. Sorry about that. I was like, 535? Let's bug out. Yeah, yeah, S35 <laughs> Elementum. Oh, man. Passion. I like how you spell that. Passion. Uh, loving my new quiet carry waypoint. Living in Hawaii. The rust proof is so needed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Tom's carrying the Cold Steel Kudu. Paul's got the ABW Model 1 Version 5. American Blade Works. Model 1 Version 5. Do, 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 do. Spirited Whiskey, welcome, welcome. It's got David Mosier, NYS 2.0. Mark Bellwood, another member of Sacks Daily Carry Crew, welcome, welcome. Carrying the Benchmade 535, sunny Florida day. Disappears in the shorts pocket. Yes, it does. Oh, that's awesome. Lisa, welcome, is carrying the new Savivi Purple Brazen. Ooh, that sounds great. Yeah, some amazing carries, Chris, indeed. Some amazing carries. Donkey Dave is carrying the steak knife at tea time. James Martinez. 
What's up, what's up? Carrying the ZT0609 and a happy Sunday. Carrying the Spyderco Manix 2 lightweight is Christian. Napster Ninja's got the Super Freak. Richard Hendershot said, order the Bass Pro Orange Blade bug out yesterday. We're going to talk about that here in a minute. That is all my list for today. I've been checking that out. Got some, some specialized pictures sent over to me. And I think I'm going to have to take a trip today and go check one of those out. Uh, Monster Racing 38's got the QSP Penguin and Victorinox Tinker. CK's got the Mini Osborne, Military Griptilian, and Mini Sog. That's a lot in your pockets, buddy. <laughs> I love it. Uh, let's see. My freshly sharpened bug out, Adam said. Oh, man. Is Triple EDC here? Probably not. Anyways, man. Thoughts and prayers out to you and your family. Your father. Definitely. Hearts go out to you. I hope everything works out. Scott Benefield's here. Olight's having a big sale on their new Warrior Pro. Uh, they have the black with the blue clip and the blue bezel. And then they have the tan with the black. I'm going to try to buy the tan with the black when I'm done with the stream here. So I think it's on sale for like $51 and change. So it's a pretty good deal and lasts a long time. Comes with the charger. Has two you know buttons. Has the, the tail switch button and the other one. Zenny said, Zach, what's my favorite TRM right now? It's the Neutron 2. If I got those blue carbon fiber scales, it would be hands down. But I love the blue carbon fiber scales, so it balances back and forth. But the Neutron 2 is my favorite so far. I haven't been able to try the, the cool little Axis Lock one, but one day maybe. Concept Pickle, Z-Man EDC says. Oh, Prickle. The new Concept Prickle. Yeah, we just talked about that last night. Um, Spider Co. Spider Chef for Alcus. Kevin's carrying the Spider Co. Smock. That's a fun knife. I like that. John Evans got the Fair and Forge Stinger. Zenny, yeah, definitely email me for that sticker. Yeah, totally. We'll get that out today. I'm doing another mailing today. I did one Friday. I did one Wednesday, and then last Sunday. I have some stuff. Don't tell. So this is a secret, you guys. Don't tell a therapeutic edge. But I have I still have a bunch of his knives. So anyways, you'll see some reviews coming up on those. But I'm just I just finished my last review on them. And uh yeah. So <laughs> don't tell him. No, he knows, but anyways, so those are going out today back to him as well. So yeah, Northwoods Knife Guy. Um we can talk about it in a minute. Um we'll get a link up as well for it. It's interesting. It's like a gray, light gray handle and like Cerakoted orange blade on a bug out. But there's some things I want to talk about on that. Um, let's see. Did I get through all the pocket dumps? Pocket checks here. Uh, Kevin Spell's got the brown knives cortex. Yeah, Orange Hat likes it. Orange Hat's a fan of orange, so... Right up your alley there. I got. I did have a spider monkey in all orange, which is kind of cool. I'll have to bring that one out if I get one. He said... <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Somebody just said, what is Zach's stuff carrying? So, I had one in my pocket. There's one more that I'm going to carry with it. But, here is what I'm carrying today. This one's already been in my pocket today already. As you guys know, I'm a bug out fan. This one's just gorgeous. The carbon fiber, the S90V, beautiful. So I wanted to kind of go matchy matchy a little bit. So I went with the 940-1, which I've got blue thumb studs on, which is just the way to be. So that's my matchy matchy for today. Sweet. Yes, this is the way. Um, we got a couple cool knives here we'll talk about in a second. But I'll put those up there so we can see what's going on in the pocket today. There's the link right there for the Benchmade Bugout 535-3 in S90V carbon fiber blue geared backspacer aluminum. Amazing. Amazing. Um, let's see here. What's up, Mark Herrera? What's going on? He's carrying the CJRB Feldspar and the Otter Messer 3 Rivet. Do, 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 do. 
The shadow. Yeah, the TRM shadow. That's what it's called. Yes, Zenny. That is perfect. Okay. So, while we're all here, there's a good group of us. I want to check this off my list because I want to give a huge birthday shout out to Richard Rick Hendershot. Happy birthday, my friend. Celebrate this awesome day. Let's give a little shout out, a little birthday love to Mr. Hendershot right here. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Happy birthday. Very cool. Enjoy, my friend. Enjoy. That's awesome. You got to celebrate that. Definitely have to celebrate that stuff. So, we talked a little bit about the Benchmade bug out already. Big Red put the link in there. Thanks, Big Red, for doing that. Got a little birthday shout out to uh, Rick Hendershot. That's so awesome, man. Birthdays are so much fun. Yeah, buddy. You know, I keep that stuff on my calendar. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, man. No, so so there's some there's some people that care about you and want to make sure that that we celebrate your birthday with you. So, anyways, um, if any of you are new here as members to Zach's Daily Carry Crew, please email me if you have not received your swag pack. I think I got most of them out, but there was about two or three people last week that joined, new members. I want to send that swag pack out to you guys. So I know Zenny, those guys, make sure to do that. Yes, Northwoods, we're going to talk about that in a minute. Oh my gosh, so excited about that. I can't wait. What's up, M237? What's going on? What's up, Chris Rayner? Howdy, howdy. Okay, so these beautiful knives right here. You guys saw the unboxing. You saw this on Friday, hopefully, if not... What's up, Dane? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, buddy. No, Dane, still though, the swag stuff, um, if you haven't got it, let me know. Email me, zach.edc at gmail.com. The big 6-1, nice. Very cool, Rick. Oh, so this is the Orion Knives Solaris. What's up, 39002 Jun? What's going on? This thing is beautiful. It's button lock, it's flipper, it's thumb stud. It's whichever way you want to deploy it. It's a fantastic knife, milled pocket clip. Oh yeah, hit the like button, heck yeah. Uncle Cow's here as well. But it's just gorgeous. I love the pop of blue on it. 14C28N blade steel. There's the email right there from Big Red EDC. And I know last night we were talking about USPS. Yeah, it's a thick boy. It's a thick boy. It's made for some work. What's up, Rodney Pearson? Happy Sunday, Rodney. Welcome, welcome. Another member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. But yes, these, if you did not get one, these are basically go to OrionKnives.com and sign up for email notifications. Um, it's at the bottom there amazing because blade banner we know our friend all the work he's put in for it he's doing all the packaging all the shipping himself he's getting him sent out to everybody right now and as soon as those are fulfilled he's going to drop that web page and send out notifications so people can go ahead and well that's a weird question um can go ahead and get people like just sales to the public. So I know he ordered a lot of extras um, so people can get them in their hand. And last night, Big Red gave one away. And if you saw my unboxing on Friday night, just a couple days ago, you know what's up. So anyways, you know I'm a fan of the blue. The red one is what it is. Just gonna put that there. Um, and oh yeah, I remember what I was gonna put on my on my list again. Do 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 do. A little theme music while I write. Do 
Yes. So, I'm just going to put that out there. If you haven't watched it, you should watch it. It was a fun uh, unboxing. Other than that, rock and roll, right? Okay. So, where are we at today? We have the Orion Knife Solaris. What's up, Lucas Bacon? What's going down? Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. We got some beautiful knives on the table, of course. Um, I don't think they're going to go much further than what he had. So they're going to be under $100. That's his goal. I know the Kickstarters were a little bit less. Um, I think we were talking last night about $75 or so. And it's one of the ones where he, he has a passion to make sure to keep that decently affordable. What's up, Renny? Welcome, welcome. How you doing, buddy? Happy Sunday. Oh, Drew Estes. Welcome to Zach's Daily Carry Crew. Give a little shout out to Drew. Show Drew some love. Thank you, Drew, so much for joining Zach's Daily Carry Crew. And Drew, when you send me that email, make sure to include your address. Uh, I want to get some swag out to you. So thank you very much for your support. That's so awesome. What's up, Ohad Hahari? Yes, the 940-1 is a beautiful knife. The carbon fiber in blue is just popping. And I think one of the things, if you saw our friend Slicey Dicey, uh, we got we got to love Slicey Dicey, man. I It's one of the channels I've been supporting for a long time. Um, obviously, you guys are probably already subscribed to him. and But if not, I mean, come on. But he was making a point... I just want to grab this knife here. He was making a point in his most carried of February um, about this one, the Mini Freak in S90V. He was like, you know what? What's up, Claim Disputed? He was like, you know what? This would have been perfect. You know, I and mean, we were all hoping for the Mini Super Freak. I mean, you know, that was just across the board what we were all hoping for. He, he made that, that comment as well, but he made a good point. They did the carbon fiber with blue accents on so many of their carbon fiber knives, like Dash 1s. They should have popped this one in blue. You know what I mean? I mean, I know it's it's red, so big red. I mean, they thought of you when they did this. They kind of kept with that super freak theme and the, you know, the red accents and barrel spacers, thumb studs. But how cool it would have been if that one would have been compared and dropped right in that line with blue. That's good stuff. I know your votes for red. I know, I know. Um, yeah, she got into her favorite college. That was so awesome. That was so cool. Definitely with purple. Yeah, and that's maybe the thing. Like, let you know. So let me buy a. Let me buy an accessory pack, and drop some barrel spacers and thumb studs on. But you know, they still they're they're still baby stepping into that. You know, the waters of taking your knife apart. So. They're letting you do thumb studs, you know, those kind of things. Um, but I do have some on order to maybe turn this into a blue one. I don't know. I'm just saying. That'd be kind of cool. Um, on the Solaris, Lisa says, how badly does the flipper tab get in the way of the cutting edge on the Solaris? Um, you know, like cutting up, like when you're just cutting, when you're when you're gripped up like this or when you're gripped up like this. So that's good. Uh, let me see here. Hold on. Let me grab. I have. Well, that's way too big. Hold on. Let me see if I can cut this down a little bit. <laughs> let me cut it down so I can bring it on camera. But cutting wise, Lisa's asking about cutting edge on this. How much does it get in the way when you're cutting? I mean, to me, to me, it's pretty good. You know what I mean? When you're cutting like this, to me, it's pretty good. I don't think it gets in the way too much. Depends on what type of cuts you're trying to do, but overall, it, it locks right up for me. Purple is going to be Lisa's color. Oh, when cutting flat. Uh, I mean, you can see a little bit. I mean, I guess if you're going with that side of it. Is it wobble? Uh-uh. There's no wobble at all. 
it's on bearing, so. Yeah, I see what you're saying if you're cutting flat. Uh, you know, it sticks out a little tiny bit, but that's about it. So, it might get in the way, but not too bad. I'm just throwing stuff around here. Little, little quick demo cut test there. I mean, you can see how sharp it is and how easily it cut through there. What's up, DDA? What's going on? No, not late at all. Welcome, welcome. Um, okay. Now, I did want to talk about one other thing. And that is, well, a couple other things, but I want to talk about drum roll. I'm just kidding. Um, we have our friend Dylan Mallory and he is, <laughs> Rennie wants to know what the two old guys, uh, in the balcony carry. What's up, Poncho 151? Member of Zach's Day of the Carry Crew. Now, we have our friend Dylan Mallory. You know, knife designer. Does some awesome work. Now, he has... If you've, if you've always wanted swag from Dylan, you can now order your own swag. And I hope you guys have seen this. But he has a... He has uploaded some of his images on Redbubble. And you can buy his swag right here. Oh, there's a link right there. Thanks, Big Red. Yeah, that mini looks awesome, Naf Sergeant. I can't wait. Hey, Quentin, you're going to have to wait, buddy. You never know. So I picked up some of those. You may see some of that in today's giveaway if there's one. Just saying. But he's got some cool stuff out there. A um, couple different designs. He's got bigger logos as well. Oh, nice, Mr. McKenzie. Yeah, it's spring training. Right on, man. Welcome. Another member of Zach's Day of the Carry Crew. Thanks for jumping in. You'll have, to, you'll have to report back as to which games you're watching. But some of the cool stuff is swipe right for Dylan. You got to swipe right for Dylan. So he's got some really cool stuff on there. Um, he's, got, he's got pictures of himself on there. All sorts of fun things. So... I would say check it out. This is the gray version. You know, I bought some of the stuff just to support him. You know, he he probably gets 50 cents on each order or whatever, but they have a cool discount going on right now. If you go check that link, if you buy four things, you get like 25% off. If you buy 10 things, you get 50% off. So it's kind of a good uh, kind of a cool deal. So anyways, kind of a fun little thing. If you ever wanted some Dylan Mallory swag, there's a good opportunity right there to check it out and support our friend Dylan <laughs> swipe right for Dylan. So pretty neat. Okay. So one of the things that we wanted to talk about is, Oh, and unfortunately it looks like it's going to be Tuesday. Darn it. But all right. What's up slick. Oh, except big red. And there you go. Well, you never know. If you win some today, maybe you'll, you'll get a big red sticker too. It's all in the books, right? Oh, you're, you're watching the Diamondbacks, the Salt River Stadium in Scottsdale. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's so awesome, man. I'm jealous, man. That's I've always wanted to go and do a trip like that. That is awesome, man. Yeah, Big Red's packing his shorts and his sandals right now. Mmm. Take a little drink. Yeah, case of the Mondays, because, man, Monday, I was so hoping for that mini Adamas to drop tomorrow. Now, they're going to drop both versions. They're going to drop the black version, and they're going to drop the tan and green version. Oh, yeah, Rennie, I got it on my list, buddy. No worries. No worries, Rennie. I appreciate that. I'll be mentioning that here in a little bit. I got you down, man. I got you down. That's awesome, man. Thank you. And one of the cool things is, I have to tell you guys, they they retail on Benchman's website at $250. It is a solid, solid knife. And, you know, if you're talking... You know, this is the Presidio 2. 
but it's got full liners. It's an Adamus, just shrunken down a little bit. It's going to be a little bit smaller than this one. I can't show you right now because I'll get in trouble. I don't want to do that. But anyways, it's super, super solid. And to me, it's going to be one of the top knives this year. So far, they're just doing the mini Adamas, both of them. And then the next one to come out is going to be on March 10th, and that's going to be the Auto Fact. Yes, pack the Burton. <laughs> oh, there it is. Big Red just put a link up for the mini Adamas. And now, like I said, they're going to drop both versions. So if you, I really liked the tan and green version. So. I, I mean, I'm just putting it out there. The Mini Adamus is going to be one of the best knives that they're going to drop this year. And I think it's going to be fantastic. Uh, my review will drop as well that day. So look for it Tuesday morning. I'm going to I'm gonna try to post two of them. We'll see how it goes. I did some comparisons. So I might be able to get it. What's up, Manny Z? What's up, Talbert? Welcome. Member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. How you doing? Happy Sunday. Yes, yes. Big Red is the Doc Holiday on, of the keyboard. I, hey, don't tell Big Red, but the Doc Holiday's right here. Don't tell him, but it's right here. <laughs> oh, man. I was going to send those back, and he's leaving now, so I get to keep them for a few more days. Oh, what's up? Masta Muffin, nice. Oh, yeah, the bug outs. Gotta love the bug outs. I'm your Huckleberry. Yes, Russ, I'm your Huckleberry for sure. And the funny part, <laughs> Nelly wants her knife back. You're not supposed to tell her. Yeah, you stole my spider monkey. It's okay, it's all good. And, uh, and Big Red, man. Uh, I'm gonna do a special video on that, so I'm gonna save what I was gonna say right now, but... What's up, Paul? Mick, how are you? Big Red's in the audience. Whoop, whoop. So anyways, just to talk about that mini Adamas, a uh, few more seconds here. What's up, Donkey Dave? Welcome. I would say, if you can put it on your list, check out your favorite knife dealer. As a matter of fact, oh. <sighs> You can get 15% off and $5 flat rate shipping if you go to Southern Edge Knife Works and use the code ZACH15, Z-A-C-H-1-5. Yes, poor Miss Nelly, but she can cast those sad days away of yesterday and enjoy a wonderful week in the sun. I'm happy for you guys. But yes, if you go to your favorite knife dealer, um, I, like I said, I recently purchased one of, one of the first productions on uh, the bug out or the mini bug out from Southern Edge Knife Works myself. Um, fantastic. Great people. If they don't have it, they'll get it for you. So you're holding for the, out for the alternative fact. <laughs> yeah, hey, I like, I like that auto fact, man. I like it. It's, it's thin. It's carbon fiber, aluminum bolsters. I wish I could just like grab these and share them with you guys. But anyways, the videos will be coming out. The reviews are done. I'll have knives to show. I mean, if we want to get all crazy, we could do a live stream on Tuesday night or something or Wednesday and look at the uh, the mini Adamases. That might be a good one too. What's up, Jason? So, but I have to say one minute knife reviews, what's happening? The mini Adamas is where it's at. Now the full size one, if you like a full size knife, They've redesigned it. They've slimmed down the handles. That's coming next. So, yeah, it's in Crewware also. Crewware blade steel. Just taking it to that next level. You know, they were a lot of those Adamuses were in D2. So, and I think, let's see here. I have this one right here. This is the Cabela's exclusive one. And speaking of Cabela's exclusive. Yeah, do a little midweek, show off the new knives. You know, more or less, just so you guys can you know see them and and answer some questions that maybe that you had when the video popped up. 
But this is the full size Adamas. You can see how thick it is. This is the Cabela's exclusive one. It's just a, a, a cybert chunk of steel, which I love that guy, man. He makes some amazing knives that you can like go pound through car doors and hoods and roofs and whatever. But these came all pretty much in D2. So I'm excited they're using the crew wear on the new ones, but you can see the full liners. And just that, look at that chunk of steel right there. That big chunk of steel. So anyways, so I'm excited. You'll see the comparisons in my videos. Oh, Zenny, thanks, buddy. Oh, keep the awesome streams coming. Well, let's show a little love. Thanks, thanks, Zenny, Mateo. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, it, the, it's, it's actually good. And, you know, if I wish, and that's the thing, I wish I could show you right now, but um, the comparisons are pretty good. And even in hand, it's, it's quite the difference. So, you know, it is what it is, you know, they keep improving. So I like the fact that they keep improving those. And I know a lot of people were bummed out when they, when they got discontinued at the end of the year, but that's how it goes. Oh, 940 man. He wants that 940 update. Yeah, I did the I did the retro one. The vintage uh benchmade. You guys saw that? Let me show that one again. I'll I'll do a little sneak peek on that one. We'll put this one up a little bit. I just have to show this one because they don't they don't really and, and I really hope they bring this back. Honestly. I mean you guys gotta help me on this one, but this is the small summit lake lock back with a pocket clip. What's up, Sue chicken and S 30 V. Can you imagine if they did this in like a, a G 10, you know, put it at that, at, you know, a good budget price around a hundred bucks. Uh, Zenny said, what's your favorite scale material? Mine is burlap micarta. I, I really like carbon fiber. You know, a lot of the stuff that I end up buying ends up being carbon fiber. Um, so I would probably rate carbon fiber pretty well up there. But this one, this is just a beauty, you know. So you're a daisy if you do. <laughs> so anyways, I, I mean, carbon fiber on this, you know, like with a pocket clip. You know, if you saw my video on this, you know my thoughts on it. But that stabilized wood. And that one's a little lighter because I've carried it. Um, you know, Rodney made a good point on the video. You know, he left a comment and just said, hey, you know what? Um, you know, those small ones don't come up for sale often. So if you see a small one, snatch it up. The larger ones come up quite a bit, but, um, let's see here. Zach, do you think the new carbon fiber S90 V bug out is your favorite so far? Ooh, that's a good choice. Ooh, that's a really good choice and a great question. JB fishing said, what's up, Zach? I'm partial to carbon fiber too. Love the looks and strength. Dizzy Diggin Dab Rig says, is Protex Strider Medford Strider SNG more collectible? Just want to know because I'm buying one of them today. They're they're all collectible. You know what I mean? Um, that's one of those really good knives that are out there that Protec made. I like them. I have one myself. Um, but yeah, I like that. And where did that go? Hold on a second. I wanted to grab my bug out bag just to take a look. So I can personally look at the bug outs and as soon as I'm done looking at the bug outs and give you an idea of my favorite one so far. Now I have to say favorite one so far is probably going to be this one right here on the, on the table. Stock, stock favorite. Um, we start getting into customizing, you know, I love my blue G10 one that I built on the custom knife builder, but I really love the one that's the... Let me show you which ones I'm talking about. But I really love the one with the death grip scales in black G10 and Micarta. It's just beautiful. So when you start getting into customizing, yeah, there's some other options. But stock one, I think this is going to be my favorite stock one so far. There you go. GP Knives has an exclusive Micarta SNG right now. 
There it is. Okay, so <laughs> Big Reds is your favorite? Yeah, heck yeah. Okay. Oh, Drew, you got the car the carbon fiber from Flytanium. I have I bought those. I didn't get the ones for the bug out yet, but I got those on my uh, full size Griptilian, the sheep's foot one, and I love it. <laughs> Jay says, you know, Zach, I thought you were my friend. I just don't know if I could bear it. Well, good. I'm glad. I'm glad you're here. Glad you're you're hanging out. It's the good stuff. But you know what? We're gonna break out real quick. We're gonna break out the channel unboxing tool. You know what that means? We're gonna do a little unboxing, and it's a special one. So I'm gonna do, let's see here, let's pull this out. We gotta make room for some stuff here. And then we'll get to another topic that I have. And I don't know how much I can show on camera because there's a lot of personal stuff on here for people. A lot of personal, a lot of personal info, but it's, it's in a big box like this. It took two months to get here. Oh, <laughs> Big Red, killing it with the links, man. Thank you so much. That is the Benchmade 602 Tango Tool, the official unboxing knife for the channel. It's been holding up, doing its job just magnificently. But this package comes to us two months in the shipping process. Two months. Two months. Dane says, I know that package. So these are fantastic. Oh, man. Look at, oh, my gosh. Okay. Well, I don't want to, I don't want to open all these if there's somebody else's. Oh, look at that. I see, I see somebody's name on there, too. That's so cool. Oh, man. Okay, so I see my name on one of them. So we're going to open that one first. This is pretty sweet stuff. Now, if I remember it... Yeah, Ben, we're going to talk about that in just a second. My favorite steel is probably the S90V as like a super steel that you can use and sharpen. You know, I, I really like the S30 just for daily... I mean, 154 CM is good too, but now these are pretty cool, you guys. So these are from our friend, Dane. Now, Dane has a special story to tell with these, but look at these, you guys. These are awesome. Oh, okay. Open JBs also. Okay. Now, I think if I remember correctly, what's up, Doc? I think if I, oh, man, if I remember correctly, these are ones that you hand paint, correct? Right, Dane? I think these are ones that he hand paints. Beep, beep. Yeah, these are so awesome. Okay, yeah, those are cool. So he hand paints them. These are ridiculous, man. These are so cool. All the detailed work, hand painted. That's fantastic, man. Thank you so much for sending this over. I'm gonna have to put a little, make a little shelf now for them. I'll lay them down like this so you guys can see some of the details. Like I might not wanna lay down there. Yeah, those are fantastic, man. Oh, snap. That's so cool. All right, JB Fishing, have fun, man. Thanks for being here. That's a cool one right there. That's a really cool one. And then old Jerry right there. Yeah, those are awesome. <laughs> 
I'm trying not to say names, right? No, that's that's pretty awesome stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna have to pick one for one of the reviews coming up. But I see that there's a bag in here for that's got a lot of red in it. So I might have to open that here in just a second. So we'll put we'll put these up here. And then let's see what's in the bag for Big Red. He sent over he sent over some stuff for a couple of us. So that was really nice, man. That was really nice of you. Put these over here. Okay. Yes, there was some stuff in here that's got red on it. So since you're leaving, we'll open yours up. No, I'm just kidding. Look at that. <laughs> I see red, man. I see red. Yeah, I'll have to put them in the background. Do some, some hidden ones. Yeah, that's cool, man. I like that. Well, this one has a tag on it. I'll try to put the tag behind it. There we go. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> oh, some more red. That's awesome, man. <laughs> A new member for Big Red's team. Heck yeah. That's good stuff, man. Oh, you're watching the new one right now, Cody? Very cool. Wow, Dane. These are awesome, man. Hand painted. That's some great work, man. Yeah, holy smokes for the red ones here. <laughs> that's, that's terrific, man. All right. I'm going to put Big Red's back. That way they're all contained. We'll get those shipped up. I got some stuff going to them anyways. So a plethora of coolness. That's definitely a good good way to state it. For sure. Okay. Right on, man. Thank you again. That's terrific. Okay. So in the comments, we've talked a little bit about the Cabela's bug out. Cabela's Bass Pro Exclusives Bug Out. Um, gray FRN handles and a Cerakote Orange blade. So it's one of those interesting things where it's like, I don't know how I feel about that. I like it. You know, I think it'll I think it'll get scratched up easy. But I think it's got a little pop of color between them all. No, man, buddy, Dane, that's, I greatly appreciate it. That's fantastic, man. The work you put into those, it, it's special. Very special. Thank you very much. That's awesome. So I don't know on the Cabela's one. But I think we can probably check, take a look at it here. Hold on just a second. Let me pull it up and we'll take a look at it here on my pad because I want to really get a good look at. Oh yeah. So there's the, there's the link right there. Big red, just put it up in the chat. So let's pull it up and see what it looks like. Let me wipe my screen down a little bit. Okay. So this is what we're looking at here, you guys. We're looking at this right here. We're looking at the new bug out 535OR for orange-2103. Dark gray with orange, 325 on the blade length. Bass Pro Shops, Cabela's exclusive. You know, there's no reviews on it. No, I'm just kidding. But I want to see, let's see here if it talks about more. S30V blade steel. Blaze orange Cerakote coating. Dual thumb studs. So pretty much the basic drivery handles. 
get it out of the light there. Yeah, it's it's interesting. <laughs> they can't make one I don't have. I'm fighting it. I'm trying to fight it because I got the uh I got I got the uh mini the mini Adamas is coming on Tuesday, so I gotta pick up I gotta pick up the tan one for my collection too. So Chris says, has there ever been one that I've regretted selling a Benchmade? You know, that's a good question. Um, I think one of the Benchmades that I sold that I regretted was a 940. Um, and yes, I did sell a 940. Um, it was a 940-1. It was uh, first production, and I kind of regretted selling that one. Um, basically because of the first production one. But most of the ones that I sell are going to be ones that I have a duplicate of. This is Benchmade-wise. Or ones that, you know, I purchased, and I was like, mm, no big deal. Don't need to keep it kind of a thing. I try to keep... You know, there, I, I don't buy just, you know, no, it wasn't a red handled one. It was the, it looked just like the one I showed a minute ago, the carbon fiber one. It looked just like that. It, it's just one of those that I had it. It was a first production. Somebody, somebody I knew really wanted a first production one. And I was like, mm, yeah, I, I think orange scales and a gray blade would have looked hot, Tim. I really, I really like that combo. The orange blade, I just, I have an orange blade, uh, Southern grind spider monkey and it's okay. You know, I have it for the collection, but to me, I'm like, I don't know. It brings a lot of attention. So unless you're using it outdoors, you know, when you're camping or hiking or something, or, you know, more lonesome, um, it, it draws a lot of attention to you. So and then Poncho says, any that you missed out on that still bug you to this day? <sighs> the one that got away. Yeah, if an altitude and a bug out had a baby. Yeah, totally. Yeah. The one that got away. You know, which one got away? Benchmade wise. I don't know. NASCAR racer to answer your question. That was death grips. Um, death grips is on Instagram and make some amazing scales. And I think those were 100 bucks and some change for the G10 Micarta. You just, it depends on the materials that you use, how much he charges, but the one that got away, would probably bring the attention of oh, that's a good question that's a really good question I'm gonna have to think on that for a minute uh, because there's a couple benchmates of the past that I was kind of bummed that I missed out on but I ended up you know working to find one But I would say probably, hmm, probably the 940s that I missed out on because I got my 940 the first year it came out uh, 20, over 20 years ago. And I think that just some of the, the cool exclusives and limited editions that came out in those 940s are probably the ones that I'm bummed that I missed out on. Um, I really, you know, they, they made a blue handled one. I think that's probably the one that I would narrow it down to the blue handled 940. Uh, it's aluminum handled, you know, I think 154 or something like that is the blade steel. So I think that one would probably be the one I would chalk it up to the bum that I missed out on. Um, just because for you, it's a Dalica. Well, Hey, good thing. You can still pick one of those bad boys up. Oh, big red man. Thank you so much. 
going going all crazy and getting the the link for death grips on Instagram. The top, see, I'm not a I'm not a PM2 guy. I only have like I think one or two of those, and I just don't find myself carrying them very much. So, hey hey, what's up, MHX? What's going on? Welcome welcome, Rusty Knife Lovers here. All right, buddy. There we go. Um, let's see here. I saw a question here from James Martinez. Says, Zach, do you know about the Kershaw tilt? That is one that got away from me. I wish I had the extra 500 10 years ago. Holy cow. I have not seen that one. I'll have to look that one up. I am not sure on that one. Yeah, Poncho. That, that's what it would have to be because... Yeah, pair three is a good knife. I have I have a few of those. Oh, Lucas, he's making a set for your buddy. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Oh yeah, they're gonna have more at Blade HQ. Okay, nice. That's good to know. So you PM two Tonto fans or Tanto fans? There you go. Yeah, where's Kiever? Kiever's like building home projects. He had a lot of those going, from what I was seeing on the on the on the gram, but. All right, so let's get some other knives out there. Let's show off a few of these while we're talking. But I also wanted to talk about, I got a new catalog in the mail. And I was kind of, and I wanted to bring this up because one of the things that's really cool is you can go to their website and Hogue makes some amazing knives. You guys know that. Um, they're, they've been great supporters of the community, Hogue knives. They have some amazing, amazing things. Um, but you can request this calendar and, or not calendar. You can make it a calendar if you want to, but this catalog and they, they kind of just cover like kind of their history from 2010 to 2020. Um, you know, last year was their 10 year anniversary and they kind of go into, you know, I just happened to flip to that one cause it's an amazing G Mascus uh, scale there that I love the blue on the EX A04 or just the EX04, the button lock. I like the, the non automatic version of that, but the, I was actually kind of hoping when I popped this open, um, that they would, they would have a little spoiler to some of the stuff that they are putting out this year. And they have a few other things in here that they're putting out. I mean, you can see the micro flips, they have tons of those. But they're OTFs. And they got some of the glow in the dark. Um, and of course the DECAs. We love the DECAs. And they have that red DECA exclusive G Mascus one with uh, Knife Center right now. It's out there. But if you guys saw somebody that's a huge supporter of the knife community. Yeah, oh yeah. The Legion X5. Yeah, it's a nice one. But somebody named Doug put on his Instagram and kind of spoiled or spilled the beans a little bit that they're doing a special new drop of one of his knives on Knifeworks tomorrow. So I'm going to have to check that out a little bit. But yeah. So, and there's a link right there. Big Red put it for the 2021 catalog. They will also send you, they have five catalogs total. So depending on what products you want, this is their large one. It has products of... Everything from their pocket knives to their bags to some of the accessories that they make. Well, a lot of the accessories they make. So you can kind of see just everything that they do on there. Yeah, wouldn't that be cool, Nav Sergeant? I'm really hoping for a blue. I'm really hoping for like a blue G Mascus in the mini or the full size. Hey, what's up, women carry knives? Welcome, welcome. We were just hanging out, talking about Hogue Knives and getting their catalog and stuff, so that was kind of cool. I like the fact that these companies are putting, uh, you know, still putting out, you know, catalogs. Benchmade did the same thing this year. I think that's really, really cool. Um, let's see here. Did I miss any uh, questions? I probably missed a bunch. Oh, you got Grateful Panic has a semi-grail coming tomorrow. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. The Quiet Carry Waypoint, Jacob, I love it. It's a great knife. It's fantastic. Um, I try. I was, I was blessed enough that one of our awesome subscribers here 
allowed me to check his out before um, it got shipped. And I tried out the titanium one. It is fantastic. So, some macadamia nuts. Ooh, the ash soil is the best way to grow them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, exactly, Big Red. It's amazing. Uh, oh, John's here, too. Dave B. and John. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Now, to talk about... I have to talk about Grateful Panic. Because Grateful Panic has been in the community for a while now and doing some great things. <laughs> and he has a giveaway going right now on his YouTube channel. You guys, go subscribe. I love the intro to that video, by the way. That was awesome. Um, go check it out because we got We got to get it. You know, we got to recognize the facts. The, the fact that he's doing a giveaway. We want to help grow his channel. There's a there's a link right there. Big Red, thank you so much to Grateful Panic Knives. Go check it out. Give it a follow. Sign up. Got some cool stuff for a giveaway. What's up, Tri State EDC? But definitely go check out Grateful Panic Knives. Cool giveaway. A cool guy. All in all together. We appreciate you being here and keep up the, keep up the good videos, man. <laughs> That's awesome. One, one day I'll have to like pick your brain on some, on getting an intro done for my channel or something, but I gotta, I gotta figure out what the intro is going to be. I got my sticker all crooked. Now I'm all worried about it, but whatever it is what it is. I could peel it off and just stick it to the table, but yeah. Oh, you looked at it earlier today. Nice. Nice. Yeah, so that's cool. That's cool. Um, so we talked about that stuff. We have a couple things I want to mention. Another member of our community. Uh, we talked about this, I think, last week as well. But Ty Addiction, a great person that's in our community here. Got a GoFundMe going so he can get a surgery. If you have the ability to, check it out. Kick in a few shuckles, shackles, whatever. Um you know, skip a coffee this week, make your own. But yeah, that's one of those cool things that we can do to help out each other. So check out Ty Addiction, his GoFundMe, try to help support him so he can get his surgery done. That's good stuff. People helping people, doing something kind for someone. That's what this channel is all about. It's what I'm about. It's what this community is about. What's up with Therapeutic Edges here? What's going down? Welcome, welcome. Hey, you guys, don't tell them that secret. Keep, keep that secret, okay? I appreciate that. appreciate it. There you go. Right on. Oh, the sticker A. See, I like sticker B. That was just me, though. Okay. Now, I will say, since we have a therapeutic edge and women carry knives here in the house now, they're going to go live. They're going to do a live stream tonight on the Women Carry Knives channel. And I have to tell you, it's pretty fun. I'll probably be in there hanging out, chatting and stuff. I know there's quite a few people. They're going to go live later today. Um, you know, our buddy Slicey does. Bruising Blades. Jimmy Slash is live now. Right now? No. Can't be doing a Sunday live. But yeah, they're going to be 7 p.m. Pacific over on the Women Carry Knives channel. There's a link from Big Red. There's the time frame. Be there, be square. But it's a good opportunity to even, you know, maybe bring in your 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 female friends, your girlfriends, your ex-girlfriends, your wives, whatever, and say, hey, you know what? Let's uh let's get a little something something going and get get her interested into a knife and maybe find one that, that's good to carry. And you can ask Christine, hey. What's, what's a good one to carry right now? And she'd probably be more than happy to just let you know. Um, let's see here. <laughs> yeah, you got to be packing, Big Red. Oh, he didn't do one Friday? Okay. Well, I'll try to wrap it up soon here. You know, got to show a little love to Jimmy. Jimmy Slash. Maybe I'll jump over there here in a minute too. But I just want to say a huge shout out to all the members of Zach's Day of the Carry Crew that are here. 
awesome that you guys are here. Thank you guys for your support on the monthly basis. It is very, very helpful to the channel. And it helps me with some giveaways. So speaking of giveaways, let's clear a little room on the table. We are going to go with... We have, a, we have a bonus giveaway today, too. You know, I always flip those knives closed right into my camera cable. So I apologize about that. <laughs> Three hours. We're doing a rally. We're doing a rally. Exactly. Yes, I heard Jimmy Slash is live. So give us a minute. We'll try to zip through a giveaway here so we can give back to you guys. But yes, thank you to all you guys who are members of Zach's Daily Carrier Crew. Thank you to those who donated today on the Super Chat. That is helpful. So you guys are awesome. Thank you guys very much. What's a Jimmy Slash? <laughs> Jimmy Slash is, a, is an awesome member of the knife community. He does lots. He does lots to give back. And he got into some... Uh... Yeah, I'm going to cut through that cable one day. It's got a couple nicks in it now. He does. He got into some, you know, pre-pandemic, he got into some like competitions, you know, those uh, knife chopping competitions. And that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. He shared some of those videos and, you know, anybody that gets into that stuff, man, it's like, it's dedication. So yeah, the Piff, he does Piff. So if you don't know what Piff is, go check out Jimmy Slash as soon as we're done here. Oh, Form D Productions. Thanks, man. Thanks for joining Zach's Daily Carry Crew. Uh, send me an email as well so I can get some swag out to you, Form D. Uh, but yeah, let's show a little love. Oh, man. Afternoon cup of tea. I'm going to need it today. I got to stay up to watch you guys for sure. Thank you, Peter. Show a little love to Peter, Therapeutic Edge. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate you guys keeping our secret. That's good, that's good. So yeah, Big Red might be able to post a link to Women Carry Knives here in just a second. Um, if you haven't checked it out, check her channel out as well as Therapeutic Edge. Great for panic. Big Red EC. Okay, focus. Let's get into some giveaway items. Now, I told you that this week is going to be a little more EDC centric. And that's the focus today. So we're going to get into some EDC giveaway today. And we got a special giveaway from Rennie. Rennie is, is offered up something for our giveaway again, which is super fantastic, Rennie. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Now, you're of course going to get Zach Stuff Swag Pack with Holographic DSKFS sticker, which I had to reorder more of those because I'm almost out. You're going to get a Zach Stuff patch, which is super cool. It's the PVC patch. Some other Zach Stuff swag in there. Some uh, A Big Red EDC. Um, a Sharper Things from SMKW. So that's the first part of the EDC giveaway. What's up, Nice Fast? You're back just in time. Now, secondly, because of your guys' support, I like to order things and have them sent in so I can have some giveaway items for you guys. I really dig these, and I hope you guys do as well. But this is the second item. This is the i3T EOS. It's in that coyote brown with black accents. It's a little, a little Olight. Five-year warranty, 150 or 180 lumens down to 12 lumens on the low mode. I mean, at 180 lumens, it'll run for 21 minutes. That's pretty crazy. At five lumens, it'll run for 16 hours. You know, these run on one AAA battery, I believe. Yep, one AAA battery. So pretty crazy how these work. I love them. You can stick them pretty much in any pocket, any bag, anything like that. So I want to make sure we give one of those away as well. Now, get the channel unboxing knife because I got to unbox this. But this is one of my favorite little pocket knives from this last year. And let me crack open the little sticker here. Put the knife away, safety first. But let me see if I can get the box open without ripping it. <laughs> okay. So this is a Savivi. The Savivi. Savivi. And you guys already know. You guys just already know. A little poison for the trolls. Shout out Floss. If you didn't see White Shoes had an eighth birthday. So shout out to White Shoes and her eighth birthday. Got a little bit of extra oil on it. 
But this is a fantastic knife. I love the blue G10. That's why I got the blue. Oh, Grateful Panic. Thanks, buddy. To JB to send us, to bribe JB to send us a picture of himself in a Hawaiian shirt and a grass skirt. Yes, let's make that happen. Let's make that happen. Maybe for SKL next week. Eh? It's an early one. Yeah, the Civivi Fracture. It's a beautiful knife. It's in the blue G10. You can see that beautiful, beautiful wash to the blade. It's a full-size blade. It is a slip joint with a half stop and a pocket knife. And lanyard fans can rejoice because it's right there ready for your lanyard. So overall, this is a sweet, sweet knife. And it's one that I wanted to order in and make sure you guys get this picked up. So that'll be part of the giveaway as well. I'm, I'm thinking hashtag Hawaiian grass skirt or big red does Maui. Maybe that we get a whole hashtag series going big red does Maui. Oh, you took one apart. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, okay. And then of course, to round out the EDC part of it, you're going to need something to write with. So you're going to need a zebra F 701 pen. Oh, thanks Zenny. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Let's give a little shout out, a little love to Zenny, the donation, the super chat. Thank you so much. But yes, one of my favorite pens. It's right here next to me as well. Working hard every single day. It's a go-to. So all stainless steel, top to bottom. I love it. Now, we are also going to throw in Rennie wanted to throw in something else for you guys. And this is pretty cool. So let me see if I can find my bag again. Because I think I have an example of it here. Hopefully, hopefully. I don't. But let's say you have a bug out. If you do have a bug out, Rennie has offered to, this is just for color comparison, but Rennie has a set of orange Flytanium G10 scales for your full size bug out. So this one's mine, it's not gonna be part of the giveaway, but this is just an example. This is what it looks like on the GRY-1, but on the black bug out or even a stainless steel one, they look amazing, no matter what your blade is. So <laughs> no one has a bug out, I bought them all. Oh, I didn't buy them all. I left a couple behind. But yeah, so Rennie wants to throw those in as well. So if you win the, today's giveaway, you're going to receive a set of bug out scales, G10 orange from Flytanium, and Rennie is providing those. So thank you, Rennie. Your support of the channel is terrific and fantastic. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Now, let's get, let's get going. I like the idea that Big Red came up with last night. So today's giveaway, how you're gonna enter, is you're gonna wait until you see a start on the screen from Big Red. You're gonna have one guess, one guess only, and it's gonna be a number between, oh, we're not gonna tell you yet. So I'm gonna write this down, and it's gonna be a number spread there's 123, 24 people watching. Um, so let's go ahead. Last Ranger. Yeah, buddy. And we're going to do... Okay. That'll be a good... That'll be a good number spread. I like that. I like that number spread. I like that number spread. I'm very generous. Don't guess yet. Do not guess yet. You'll wait until you see the start from Big Red, but it'll be closest without going over. One guess only. And my screen will be the decider. And the number spread will be given as soon as Big Red puts a start on the screen. Whoops. Let's move that back there. So, we will see... 
what it is. So there's the start. The number spread will be between 75 and 150. So guess between 75 and 150. Those of you who started early, I'm sorry. One guess, one guess only. It should be good. It should be good. It's kind of fun. It's kind of fun. Lots of guesses going out there. Very nice, very nice. So this is fun. It's cool because if you have a bug out, wonderful. If you don't have a bug out, it gives you an opportunity to pick one up and have some custom scales for it. Or maybe you uh, you know make a little trade with somebody that does have a bug out. So either way, you're a winner, but you will walk away with an awesome Civivi pocket knife, an Olight flashlight, an F701 Zebra stainless steel pen, and a pack of swag. You can't go wrong with that. So that's pretty fun. And when we're done here, we get to go over and check out Jimmy Slash. We get to look. We get to check out Slicey Dicey today. We get to check out OCD for EDC. We get to check out Women Carry Knives and a Therapeutic Edge at seven thirty Pacific. Be there. Be square. <laughs> Carrie's trying to put a stop sign up there. I don't know what that's for, but yeah. One guess only, so that's good. One guess only. We'll give it another uh, two minutes here to make sure everybody's caught up and gets their guesses in. And we will wish Big Red a wonderful trip to a beautiful vacation, some well-needed relaxation, and sunshine. After all that ice and snow, we definitely need some sunshine. Yeah, it's a sun Sunday Sunday stream day. Sunday fun day stream. <laughs> Destroys your weekend, yeah. Try 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 saving some time to film some videos too, right? You know that. <laughs> oh, you let your wife choose the number? <laughs> That's cool. Oh, you ended the stream already? Oh, so we're all here. We're all ready to go. Okay. We can keep rolling then. We can go all the way till one slicey. No, I'm just kidding. I got to get a couple things done too. I got to package that stuff up like we talked about earlier. We won't say for who, but you know. Yeah, it's it's fun. I love doing the live streams. That's why, you know, I want to make sure that uh, you guys see the latest products. You guys see some of these things. You're able to ask questions compare them live. Um, that way you guys get questions answered. That's why I started watching YouTube videos. I think a lot of us did, you know, you're like, Hey, I want to see how this works. I want to see what it's like before I go spend a hundred dollars, you know? Um, but yeah, so that's the thing. That's the thing we do. Yeah. Don't forget to smash, smash the like button. Heck yeah. Okay. So I think everybody's got their guess in. I see just a lot of regular comments now, so that's awesome. Oh, he's in the newest Cold Steel video? And of course, of course he is. Why wouldn't he be, right? <laughs> Start with nut, nut Fancy. Nut and Fancy. Nut and Fancy. Gonna carry, yeah, what's your grass skirt carry? Ooh, that'll be a good topic. That'll be a good topic. What's 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 in JB's skirt? That sounds a little weird, but all I gotta say, man, is go have some fish tacos for me. It's amazing over there on the island. Those fish tacos are fantastic. I love it. So yeah, you'll see some stop signs here from JB. Looks like 940 man just got his guess in. <laughs> Jimmy Slash is a cold seal of Zach's bench pain. Man, uh, there's a stop sign. So we'll go back and check here in a second. I would love to be in Benchmade's next video. One day we will get there. One day we will get there. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the beginning. And before I show the number, I'm going to see if anybody has guessed it right on. I see somebody that's guessed it right on. So that is super duper fun. So, okay. So let's pull the number out. Let's show you guys what we have. Yeah, the CEO and bamboo. That's, that'd be a good island knife. 
All I have to say is, are you going to do the road to Hana, man? So the number was 107, 107. And I saw, let's see here. I saw Jared123 that had it. Jared123 got it right on. Let's see if there's any others. So now we're not looking for closest. We're just looking for if anybody else got a 107. That's a good guess, man. Nailed it right on. Okay, let's see here. Oh, I see a Matthew W. I see a Matthew W. With a 107. So we're going to have a round two. Let's see if there's anybody else. I just see those two. I just see, yeah, I see Matthew W. And a Jared123. Okay, gentlemen. So we are going to go with... Oh, thanks, Chad. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, have fun at the park. It's beautiful weather. Like here in Oregon right now in Portland, it's sunny out. So literally when I'm done here, I'm going to go get some sun. I need some. Had a great day yesterday. Was able to see Penny. Penny and her family. So that was kind of cool. They were in town. So they gave me a, gave me a reach out and said, hey... You know, dropped a little line and said, you're around town, let's meet up. So there's some cool things coming from them as well. We'll talk about that here next week. Uh, Lisa, Chad, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much. So let's do round two. Round two with Jared and Matthew W. And it's going to be a guess between... Let's see here. Hold on. Okay, so just Jared123 and Matthew W will be guessing on this to find out who's the winner of this EDC package and the Benchmade scales from Rennie. It's going to be a guess between 11 and 21, closest period. Doesn't matter if you're over, doesn't matter if you're under. Oh, it's muddy there. Oh, no. Oh, been out mudding. <laughs> Four wheeling, yeah. You got you to gotta, gotta love it. So Jared123 says 19. Let's see what Matthew W says. Do, 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 do. Yeah, keep the keep the tickle fight clean. Okay, Chicago. Unfortunately, it wasn't. It was just between those two. Sorry. So Matthew W says ten, but you, Matthew, it's between eleven and twenty-one. So you got to pick a number between eleven and twenty-one. Do, 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 do. So we'll wait for Matthew's guess. We see Jared's. 15. Okay. So we have Matthew W with 15. We have Jared 1, 2, 3 with 19. And let's find out who is going to be the winner. Zenny says I picked 65. <laughs> oh, that's terrific. Thank you, Big Red, for your help. Always, always much appreciated. And the winner is number 15. So Matthew W is 15, the winner. Congratulations. And then Jared123, because you made it to the second round, I want to send you out a swag pack as well. Um, I won't have this other stuff to send, but I'll send you a swag pack for runner-up. So both of you guys, please email me at zach.edc at gmail.com. Congratulations to both you guys for winning this stuff and getting some sweet bug out scales. Man, what a fun time we had. This was pretty awesome. We had some cool stuff sent in by Dane from his country that he hand paints. Fantastic stuff. All the people that donated in the super chat supporting today. Thank you guys so much. Look forward to the mini Adamas. You guys, you know me. Ah, I might go to Cabela's here in a few minutes. Dang it. If that's the case, you may see that coming up again. We'll see. I, I didn't even know. This this bug out snuck up on me. They kept that one quiet. Super quiet. I checked in with some of my channels in the, you know, on the inside. And they're like, yeah, we just found out about it too. Oh, <laughs> 10 for 10K. Oh, Big Red, my friend. Thank you so much for all your help. Have an amazing vacation. I, I am ready to go myself. So you guys enjoy. 
Tell Nelly to have an awesome time as well. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thanks to all of Zach's Daily Carry Crew for being here. Man, you guys, it's going to be a fun week. So I'll probably see you guys later tonight on different live streams that are here. Don't forget to check out Women Carry Knives, 7.30 p.m. Pacific. Be there, be square. And I will see you guys later. Make sure to do something kind for someone today. I'm going to put that to use. If My goal is if I go to Cabela's, I'm going to do something kind for someone at Cabela's. We'll see what it is. I'll have to report back. But anyways, you guys, thank you, Grateful Panic. Thank you, Therapeutic Edge. Everyone that's on here, have an awesome rest of your day. Most importantly, take care.